the boys and the ladies. In our society, looks are everything. We say they're not, but if you think about it, the actresses, actors, musicians, everyone is based off their appearance. The media should not promote a certain body standard. No one is made the same. The media makes us want to look a certain way, even though most of us cannot physically appear that way. Some say the way they promote certain body types is one of the main causes for eating disorders. The main reason why the media should not give us a visual on how we should look is because we were all made to be different, unique individuals. The media gives young girls and boys a standard that can be impossible to live up to. According to a teen health and media survey, 40% of 9 and 10 year old girls and boys have tried losing weight. The belief that thin is beautiful is a pervasive in our culture. The media promotes an image that is not reachable for some body types. Tall and thin is not how some people were made to be. Girls seeing models like this makes them want to lose weight, which is not always healthy. The media right now is telling us we need to be plus size or thin. There are posts on social media about how girls that are considered thick are more desirable for guys, and posts about how people that are a size 2 and smaller are too thin. Most of the people that are small have trouble gaining weight because of their high metabolism. And most of the people that are plus size have trouble losing the weight. Right now, having plus size models like Iskra Lawrence is great. She is giving a positive outlook on plus size girls. But on the other hand, girls are striving to be like her. And if that's not their body type, it can become unhealthy. Right now, we are promoting plus size things so much that it might start taking a ne negative effect on society. If young girls eat healthy and work out a normal amount, they will be healthy. If they try to be smaller or thicker, they can hurt their body. The media should stop promoting one or the other so the girls in between, and even plus size and thin girls, can accept their body for what it is. Sometimes kids are so uncomfortable in their own skin, they believe they're not beautiful because they don't look the way they do on TV. According to NationalEatingDisorders.com, 10 million men and 20 million women suffer from an eating disorder at some point in their life. Many people make the mistake of thinking the media is the main thing to blame for eating disorders. While it does contribute, eating disorders are psychological. The main reason for the disorders are depression, stress, anxiety, lack of control in their life, and low self-esteem. People with psychological disorders have their own ways to cope. We are in a generation where body image is everything, and when someone sees a Victoria's Secret model, that can trigger them into thinking that they would look better like that. When someone with a disorder becomes stressed or depressed or feels a lack of control, they can think about that and that will be their focus. They will see a thin body and think if they try hard, try hard enough, they can look like that. That's when disordered eating comes in. They can control the amount of food they take in or how much they purge. Media has twisted views on everything, especially body image and eating disorders. If the media didn't blow things out of proportion, these things wouldn't have such a negative effect on society. We need to realize the media can't tell us how to look or the way we should look. We need to make a positive change in the way the media perceives people. Everyone was born to be different, and that's what we need to realize. We are made to be unique. The media doesn't express that. We all need to be a certain way, and that's not how it should be. They should not promote a certain body image because there are too many ways to make it negative. People Magazine did a campaign called Share Your Size. It was supposed to be a body positive campaign to say you're not defined by a number. Women of all shapes and sizes participated, pulling up a piece of paper with their size written on it. What was supposed to be an inspiring body positive movement was turned around by the media. They said if the point is to not be defined by a number, why tell the world what size dress you wear? Because that's just another number. The media missed the whole point of this, turning it into something negative. Because of social media, we have so many standards. In order to be a plus size, you have to fit into the category of fat. While writing this, I was told Iskra Lawrence was not a plus size model because she wasn't fat enough. No matter what you do, you will not be good enough for the media. If you have a fitness page on a social media account, but don't have a six pack, you are already being judged for not being in shape enough to give health and exercise advice. If you aren't a double zero, you aren't small enough to relate to Twitter posts about being skinny. If you're 5'7", you're tall, but you're not tall enough. And if you're 5'5", five five, you're short, and you're not tall. You're just there. We also come across things like bo false body image advertising. We see men and women with perfect bodies and think that we can look like that. 
But the problem is, those people were edited by computers, and the body that you are seeing isn't actually theirs. Because of social media's impact on our generation, we have to be a lot stronger when it comes to being confident in ourselves. So many speeches are given by plus-size models talking about how great it is to not be small and to love your body because you're not considered skinny. There are so many th things wrong with that message. Although the best way to stop the media from promoting a certain body image is to not react, we all know that's almost impossible for our society. Ashley Graham is a model who gave a speech about how she is not plus size, but she is her size. I think that is the best message someone can send out. She's saying to ditch the labels. Plus size models in the U.S. are considered a size 8 and above. That's also about the average size of a woman. Labels mean nothing. We think plus size means fat. What about an 8 seems fat to you? Skinny is a label. Plus is a label. Thin, fat, petite, average, short, it's all labels, and we are above that. We can learn to love our bodies just the way they are. We can be our own version of perfect without hurting our body in the process. We can learn to turn down the media's standards and accept ourselves. The media should not tell us how to look because we weren't all made to be the same. Overall, all we need to do is love ourselves and not the type of body the media is currently promoting take a toll on how we should look. Be confident in your own body type. Thank you.